Hey guys, it's Hart and welcome back to AGNDM. I just got back from the gym, so I might look a little gross. I need a shower still, but um, I wanted to record this so that I can edit it later. And the theme for this week was Fashion Week, and fashion, as you guys may know, is one of my favorite things ever. I adore fashion and I love unique fashion, so let's see what you guys came up with. The first photo is from Addie, and she made a vintage Vogue cover, and this is so cute. I love how you really did make it look vintage and you added grain to it, which looks great. Um, and I love all the details, her outfit is super cute. But the only thing I would say is I think it would have benefited from maybe a less plain background. I think that maybe even having like a vignette around the sides would have made it look cooler. Um, I think the plain white is just a little bit too abrupt and even a gray maybe, maybe would have been better. But the color harmonization on this is really nice and I think you did a great job. The next one is from Amber. And this is also a Vogue cover, and it says Future Fashion, Innovative Fashions by Amber Jo Palmer, and she's wearing a dress made out of magazines. Um, and this is so cool. I love this idea of using old, like, things that you would throw away um, and recycling them to be part of an outfit or in your wardrobe. And this is really nice. It looks like she's on the red carpet. And... I really like this, and I would just say maybe adjust the lighting a little bit because it's a little bit backlit and you want her to be the spotlight, but this is a really nice idea and I love how you made her dress. The next photo is from Isabel, and this is so cool. She's on the red carpet, and she has a very dramatic eye look going on as well as her dress, which matches her eyes really nicely. And the background I love, it says AGTube, AGIG, and AGNDM Cycle 5, which is so cute, and you can still see a little bit of the red carpet um, on the bottom right-hand corner. Um, I would say maybe zoom out a little bit so you can see more of the red carpet, but I do like that you include a little bit of it so you kind of know what's going on there, but this is a really nice picture. Um, the next photo is from Kanani, and I love this picture. It looks like a real Vogue cover, and it's so cute. It says, Kanani Best Dress Model of 2019, find out the next model. And it says, it's the January issue, and this really looks like a Vogue cover. I love her pose, too. It just looks so good. And I like how you have the lighter gray that's behind her and the darker gray on the corners because it just kind of helps to focus in on her and I think that's a really nice touch. Um, great job. And I made a really big mistake last week and I forgot to include Kanani's photo for a holiday week. So here it is. I'm so sorry. I just... It was so hectic last week that I must have skipped over it or I didn't get the email. But um, yeah. Next photo is from Malu. And this is really, really cute. She's walking on a runway with rose petals around her. And it says AGNDM. Um, I think the blurring is a little bit too much. I know that you want her to be the main spotlight, um, but maybe I would have brought her closer to the camera and then had them a little further away so that the blurring would come naturally because it kind of looks weird that she's in focus, but the people that are like five inches away from her are out of focus. That's not normally how a camera works, but um, other than that, I think it's cute. I maybe would have done without the AGNDM text, but it was a nice touch to, you know, feature AGNDM in it. But this is still really pretty and I love her dress. The next photo is from Naya and this is so cute. I love this look so much. Um, and she is on the red carpet and the background is so cool. I don't know how you even did that. And she's at the Oscars and there are two Oscars in front of her which is so cool. And there's a Getty Images watermark which I thought was a really nice touch because normally all red carpet pictures have that watermark on them. And this looks very legit and her dress is so pretty. Her eyes look really well lit and the whole picture is just really nicely composed. The next one is from Nenea who did a Gucci ad and this is so cute and I love that you made her shirt. It's such a cute touch and um, she has little descriptions of each of the items that are shown here. I maybe would have blurred the Gucci background a little bit more because it's kind of um, grainy and if you blurred it, it might have taken away f like from that overall grainy effect of it. But it's still really cute, and I think you did a good job featuring products and making a collage type of thing. I thought that was a really cool idea that you had there. The next photo is from Sydney, and this is a really cool picture, and I love how red automatically stands out, and it's very eye-catching. Um, you did spell Vogue wrong, I saw your message on Instagram, but that's okay. I think it still is a really cool picture. However, she is a little bit grainy, so... Um, I would just say try to shoot in natural light because if you use artificial lighting and it's still not bright enough and you try to like make turn the exposure up a lot, it tends to get grainy. Um, but this is really cute still. I think you did a good job and you featured all the names of the other contestants at the bottom, which is super cute. 
The last photo is from Zolita, and I love this picture. The blue colors of this is so stunning, and the whole cloud kind of thing you have going on behind her is so cute. Um, and it says, Zolita, my heart in the sky and my feet on the ground, which is so cute because it goes along with the theme. And um, it's just a really nice magazine cover. Her pose is super cute, and she looks really well lit up. And I just love this whole composure of this picture. So great job. It was honestly so hard to choose best to bottom two this week and to pick somebody to eliminate. Initially, I didn't even eliminate anyone, um, but I realized I kind of need to get this series moving along. Um, so I did come to a conclusion on who I'm going to eliminate, but it was so hard. I really didn't want to eliminate anybody. But best to bottom two, best for this week goes to Naya, congrats. Then Zolita, Kanani, Isabel, Nenea, Addie, Amber, and the bottom two are Malu and Sydney. And the person who is going to be eliminated is Sydney. I'm sorry to see you go. You did a really great job, and I love your creativity that I've seen throughout the series. Um, and I, you will be missed on the show, but thank you for participating, and I hope you audition again for a future cycle. So the theme for next week is going to be Animal Week, and I think I've done this once before, but basically you can even incorporate animals into your picture, dress your doll up as an animal, I don't know how else you're going to incorporate animals, but get creative, you know, that's what I love to see. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!